Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a new version of an old one today. This is a Line Bacon 108. Uh, gone with the Sir Francis, now just Bacon 108. We also are getting a Bacon 115 uh, for this year. So adding a new width to this really fun model that uh, kind of kind of snuck up on us uh, here at Ski Essentials uh, you know, a few years ago when we got on it and it just kind of seemed to make sense for a lot of the terrain that we have here in Vermont in terms of soft snow in tight trees because it just had a super high wiggle factor. Uh, seeing this new 108 come out, you know, a little bit nervous that it would do away with that. We don't get convex shape anymore. Uh, this thing follows suit with uh, the more of the shaping properties of the new chronic skis. Uh, this is basically a continuation of Chronic 94, 101, now Bacon 108. Slightly different in terms of shape and overall profile, uh, as well as a little bit of a difference in construction, uh, but very much kind of is the next logical step in uh, that Chronic to Bacon line. Uh, so this one is built with a maple macro block core. So that's what we see in blend uh, Tom Wallace Pro and now Bacon 108 as opposed to Aspen that we see in uh, the Chronic series of skis. Um, if you think about maple like a maple sapling, you can just bend those things, you know, endlessly and they won't break. Uh, so that's what we get in that blend when we, when we show crazy flex and that's what we're getting in this Bacon 108 as well. So very, very flexible. They do play a little bit with the thickness and the thinness of the aspects of this ski. So a little bit thicker uh, underfoot and then it tapers to cap and very thin in the tips and tails here. So that's where we're seeing kind of the greatest drop off in uh, materials here uh, in the tips and tails where they go to very thin. But we also get thicker bases, thicker edges, uh, and the sidewall extends more into the ski. So we get uh, a lot of different levels of thickness in the ski that add to basically more underfoot uh, mass and, and performance versus uh, tips and tails. Those are reserved mainly for uh, greater flexibility and more maneuverability. I mean, this you know feels very much like a blend in the tips and tails, you know, because of the thinness, because of the maple. And then when you get into the middle of the ski, you can feel a lot more resistance in terms of how stiff it is. So more performance underfoot, definitely floatier uh, in the tips and tails. That's what we liked about the older Sir Francis bacon. Uh, they're just doing it without the convex, uh, convex shape. So just a slightly less kind of uh, round, kind of really smeary turn, but I think the flex of these and the thinness makes up for it quite well. We do have some camber underfoot, not much. And then that nice long rocker profile starts all the way down here and then a very round and smooth taper shape. Uh, that very much looks like what the old one looked like except for the convex shape. So really, really floaty, super smooth going into turns, uh, especially in deeper and softer snow. And then we see very similar things in the tail, a little bit sharper of a point in the tail than the tip. That's gonna give you more of a rudder-like feel in the tail, so allows you to be more playful in the back of the ski, uh, super fun in softer snow. Uh, and then rocker profile, somewhat shorter, but not dissimilar in terms of splay than what we see in the tips. And that's just gonna give you that nice tip to tail, round feeling in the snow, you can kind of feel uh, you know, the ski wants to be on top and it wants to be used in a multi-directional format. That's kind of the way these free ride skis run these days. Um, some weight to it, you know, I think just the thickness of the core and then the density of the maple uh, gives it, you know, a 2,108 gram weight. There is just a lot of stuff in this ski. It's a big one, you know, 108 millimeters underfoot, um, you know, with a pretty thick core underfoot so a lot of ski especially in the middle very drifty and playful on the on the ends and an awesome option for advanced and expert skiers who are incorporating creativity and playfulness into their deep snow and free ride skiing you know might be a, a little bit of a niche uh, item for an intermediate looking for a wider ski i think this thing fits 
a little bit more squarely into the advanced and expert realm and people who know what they're looking for in a ski just because it does have that pretty unique feel to it. So make sure you check out this all new Line Bacon 108 here at SkiEssentials.com and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye!